Uh, Wales won, Belgium won. Wales picking up their first point of the group. A Dutch, the team to catch, currently sitting top of the table, three clear of Belgium and Poland. Now, Gareth Bale was asked about the Nations League ahead of that clash against the Belgium, and he said there will be consequences in the long term. People's bodies can't deal with that kind of calendar year after year. Something has to change. The people at the top of the game have to do something, but unfortunately, money comes into it. It's a business at the end of the day, but for player welfare, the money needs to be overlooked. What do you reckon then, Nadem? Um, I don't disagree with anything that he said, and you could almost insert any player's name or face into that section and they'd be saying the exact same thing. I think the only issue is the fact that, you know, it almost seems ironic that Gareth Bale's saying it, because I think this season he's played more games for Wales than he did for Real Madrid, and that was, you know, I think that was seven, so... You know, he will be heard, he will be listened to, and I hope that governing bodies do take it more seriously. But as he said there, it's sort of, it's run by money. That's not going to change. They're not going to decide one year, well, you know, let's just give them a break and we'll lose out on some money and everything will be fine. I think he makes a very, very valid point. But like I say, when you look at those stats for the season, you know, this is coming off the back of winning a league and a Champions League. Yeah, uh, he's not, his stock isn't necessarily the highest that it has been. But like I say, what he said is very, very true. And I think it does matter. And I think that in some ways, like, you know, we've got this sort of ill feeling about the Nations League. But I think some of that comes given the fact that it's in the middle of June. You know, if this was happening in September, October, November time, like it traditionally would be doing, then fair enough. But I think he makes a good point. I don't know how it's going to reset. And I'm really interested to see how the season's going to pan out once this World Cup's over. Because, again, you're going to have to get your mind around to a new situation, which, which we haven't experienced before. The one thing that gets me is, and I, and I, I agree with Nadam, I have no issue with the, uh, the, the statement because we all know it to be true, that they just keep pounding these players. Mm. However, I'm seeing a lot of players towards the end of their career talking about uh, too many games and it's all about money. Well, how's about some of the guys in the height of their career sit down and bang a few heads together with UEFA and FIFA and all these governing bodies in the leagues and the broadcasters and say, yeah, we we'll, we want less games to look after ourselves, but we're prepared to take less money. Because ultimately, everybody wants a piece of the pie. Mm. So the broadcasters want more games because more games means more advertisement, means more money. That filters all the way down. Uh, it's a pyramid system, but I don't see any players, and certainly not publicly, who would be prepared to take a... <laughs> a much lower salary to play less games. It seems to me that they, they all want the money, which which is fine, but if you want the money, you're, at the moment, you're going to have to play the games. There's not much give and take. I, for, for me, listen, I, I, I think, again, the, the, the Nations League is, is a step up from, from friendlies. And then while you could point to those games and say it's about money, that's no different from how friendlies were. Friendlies were, were structured exactly the same and was just dependent on who would come up with the most for, for this international window and teams go, go and play there. So again, money, money dictated that. There's just, a, there's just a different structure to it this time around. So I, 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 don't, I, I don't necessarily get why it's, it's, it's about money. If it's, too, if it's too, many, too many games, and rightly so, people have been saying that for, for the last 30 or 40 years, um, then deal with the number of games, both domestically and that you play for international football. But to link it to money, when everything about football is about money, I, I, I just don't think that that's, that's the selling point that, that's going to get traction. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.